How's it going everybody? What are we gonna talk about today? Belts. Not only just belts, but belt tension. Why is it important? Because as these belts are going around, if they start to slip around the various different types of pulleys, what are they gonna do? They're gonna wear out, they're gonna get thinner, or worse, they're gonna start leaving black belt dust all over your inside of your engine compartment. Do you want that? You shouldn't. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about how do you measure the proper belt tension on these things? Are you gonna use your thumb? Because I guarantee you, most of the people watching this video right now, if they wanna see how tight their belts are, they just do that with their V-belts. That is, that's how I used to do it, but there's smarter ways to do it. Take a look here, crickets. This sucker right here, I think it was like maybe 10, $15. Go pick yourself one up. You can find them just about anywhere. Why is it important? Because these belts oftentimes need to be tightened up to 50 pounds of pressure. And can you gauge accurately 50 pounds of pressure with your thumb? I think not. Stay tuned to this video and I'll show you the proper way to use that cricket. This way you don't get stranded in the middle of the water. Check it out guys. We are officially in this video gonna kick off the 400 horsepower OMC Cobra video. We already intro to you and showed you what it looks like, but today we're actually gonna get in on this motor. And that's what we're talking about belts because when I got this thing, I noticed the alternator belt was missing. Who does that? In fact, how do you ride a boat without an alternator? It's gonna kill your battery. That's probably why I got the uh, little <laughs> voltage checker on it right now, making sure it pumps up power to these two. We'll talk about that a little bit here too. All right, so anyway, let's go ahead and take this belt We'll go ahead and get it installed and then we'll use that Cricut tool. It's kind of tricky. Have you ever seen one for the first time? And this is probably the first time you've seen one. It's actually really tricky to use, but I'm gonna make it super easy. So let's hop in the boat and uh, get to it. Now today we're gonna to specifically talk about alternator belts. I've actually kept these other two over time just so I can show you what belt slippage really looks like. Notice how they're starting to get thin along the edges right here. That's a classic sign and they're super duper thin. They're actually in really good shape in terms of the rubber itself, but you can tell the proper amount of belt tension wasn't put on these two. And they're almost identical, but notice when we compare it against the DB Power one over here on this side, you can tell it's a lot thicker. And these are thinner compared to this one because the belts were slipping. Now, in some cases too, what you're gonna find in your engine compartment is you're gonna have all this black belt dust everywhere. I talked about that on the intro. And what does that mean? Like I said, you do not have the proper amount of belt tension set on these. A lot of people, as I mentioned, like to use the thumb test. And I'll show you what that looks like when we actually get on these pulleys. But these are the, the belts, and this is what you can look forward to if you have belt slippage. And I always keep a few extra belts on hand just in case I do have one that snaps and it just so happens to be the extra ones that I carry in the boat for emergency purposes only are ones that had, had been slipping in the past. And like I said here, you can see we've had a lot of slippage on these and these are factory original OMC belts. But for today, I'm actually gonna use this DB Power belt. It's a little bit different design, you can see it, it seems to be a softer rubber, and also it's made right here in the United States. So I'm kind of excited to try it out. I don't know how well it's gonna last just because I've only tested one of these in the Volvo Penta, and today we're gonna to test it in the 400 horsepower OMC Cobra. So let's get to it. Let's actually install this. We got the, the new DB Power belt on it, and take a look using the old thumb test it looks like it's good but I mean is it really set to 44 to 50 pounds I don't really know so this is where the little cricket comes into play here and like I said super cheap and if you look at it it's not very intuitive right you've got kilograms up here and you've got pounds at the bottom now for those overseas that are watching this and wondering what is the 44 to 55 pounds translate to kilograms? It's gonna be 20 to 25 kilograms. All right, so the reason they have this little guy 
is so if you're in your engine compartment, it doesn't just fall into the bilge area. You can actually use it without putting this um, little piece of rubber around it, but it's there to keep it so it doesn't fall. If you don't have it open like I do here, definitely use this guy. So what you're gonna do is you could use it between here, like, like so, but the problem with that is you are not getting the proper amount of tension measured because this length is kind of too short. They're gonna recommend that you go with a longer length here, which this is exactly why you wanna have it wrapped around your finger like this and keep this thing nice and flat at the bottom and try to get directly in the middle like so. And this is why they actually call it the cricket. So you wanna go slow with this. You don't wanna go fast. The slower you go, the more accurate your measurement will be. So listen for the, the click. All right, so take a look right where the fulcrum is. It is set right at, we'll turn the angle a little bit so you can see it. It's set right at 50 pounds. So this is the recommended, it's within the recommended range specifically because the manual says 44 to 55. So in theory, you could make this a little bit tighter and you'd still be within specifications, but right now, I was pretty close because we are right at 50. What I'm going to do now is let's go ahead and tighten this alternator belt up. Now keep in mind too, you'll likely need to check the pounds on this belt multiple times because it's not unusual for this belt to stretch a little bit the first few times you run it, especially as it gets hot and cold, right? Things change. Okay. Let's go ahead and tighten this half inch down here. Good. And just for fun, let's test it one more time to make sure we are accurate. All right, we'll set it down Put it here in the middle. Let's go super slow. Yep, right there, 50 pounds, well within range. Let's put this baby back in the box. Hope you liked the video. As always, hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you thought it was helpful. Leave comments in the comments field below and we will catch you on the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. Take it easy.